In this video, I'm going to be giving you a complete guide to building the ATV in Last Down Earth so you can get up to the swamp and start farming those endgame materials. The swamp is extremely important because those materials lock away some crafting abilities for endgame content like upgrading storage capacity and even starting to build those level 5 base defenses. And those are just a few of the things that are locked behind the ATV progression. Now I'm making this video because I recently just finished my ATV within this past week and I went to the swamps for the very first time so all this info is really fresh in my mind because I've been trying to build the ATV for a good long while. Now the ATV requires a lot of parts but the hardest ones are going to be the gas cylinder, the car battery, and of course the ATV transmission. For gas cylinders and car batteries, Bunker Bravo is going to be your new best friend or worst enemy in this case. Because Bunker Bravo is really the ATV grind location in Last Day on Earth, you're going to need to be clearing floor 3 for those car batteries as you can see here. It's a great source of car batteries, the best in the game, and floor 4 for the gas cylinders. You can dramatically cut down the grind for gas cylinders and car batteries if you upgrade the terminal system in Bunker Bravo, specifically the opening locks terminal. What this will do is it allows you to upgrade your ability to get car batteries and cylinders from floor 3 and floor. However, it does require lead, but if you've been playing through seasons, you could have actually earned some lead without needing to go to the swamp locations. Another way to get a gas cylinder is you can occasionally get one when you defeat the icebreaker boss in the lab's B1 level. And that does it for gas cylinders. We are now on to car batteries. Car batteries, like I mentioned before, are going to be found from that floor 3 loot, and you're going to need to take out Dr. Dread. Now, if all of this Bunker Bravo talk sounds a bit tough for you, there are some other ways that we're going to be taking a look at. One of which is going to be the cap system. If you roll caps, you could get yourself a battery. This isn't guaranteed for sure. Another method involves the chopper, and your chopper is going to need to be level 40. I've got a complete guide about that if you want to check it out. Once you're at level 40, you can head on over to the junkyard, and occasionally at the junkyard, you can nab yourself some car batteries. Now, this isn't really the best way to do it, but it is an option available to you. There is also crafting available for car batteries, but it requires lead and it's way too expensive right now, so in the future that may be a better option. Now the hardest part to come by, and I think everybody can relate to this, is ATV transmissions because you need 10 of them. And that's quite a few of this really rare material. And before we go over all the ways to get those, if you're enjoying this video, I'd really appreciate it if you would drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing and turning on those notifications as these take a good bit of time to make. Now you can get really lucky and also get an ATV transmission at the jackpots with the cap system. I've actually gotten three in total this way, so it's actually been a fairly decent method for me. It's totally up to uh, randomness though. If you are a paying member, you can also get these at the VIP black market, and I've got a whole video on that. And I've also got some follow-up videos on the VIP system in general if you are interested in that, as it will help your grind in LDOE overall. Now, another way to get ATV transmissions is by the port delivery system. And I recently asked you guys what the best items were you got from a port delivery, and a surprising amount of you actually mentioned getting an ATV transmission. So it's definitely worth it to do those port deliveries, especially when a season is active. Now, speaking of seasons, seasons are actually the best time to be grinding in Last Day on Earth, even for anything outside of the ATV, but especially for the ATV grind. If you grind out seasons, you are going to significantly cut down on the amount of Bunker Bravo runs that you need to do, and this is the method that actually a lot of players use, myself included. I've gotten the majority of my ATV transmissions, my gas cylinders, and my car batteries from season passes and seasonal rewards. So anytime a season comes out, it's the best time to be grinding in Last Day on Earth. I would even recommend going as far as saving up resources just to grind during seasons. Now we also have this ATV at the top of the gas station location, so I think we're going to see some further developments with it and maybe an upgrade system. And I'll be sure to cover that area when it does get released. Now, as far as the other parts go for the ATV, because there's honestly a lot of other things like air filters, carbon composite, all that stuff, I would recommend checking out my resource guide over on PressingX.com, as I've already put in a good bit of work into detailing where you can find all of these other rare resources, and I'll be continuing to update that guide and add more resources to it. It's a great location for other Last Day on Earth content as well. Thank you so much for watching this video about the ATV build and best of luck building your ATV. I'll see you guys in the next video.